Hey you guys! Okay, so today I am so excited. I'm kind of piggybacking off of my last fashion video and today I am doing a shoe only video. I'm going to show you guys a lot of shoes that I have purchased recently and the name of this video is going to kind of be like designer and dupes, although there's really only just, and I've got a, oh my gosh you guys, I got a lot of shoes to show you, but it's really just like one pair that are even like designer. Like I've got so many, so many good shoes. This is my thing you guys, well then a pair from last year I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna kind of give you some ideas of some really affordable things. You don't always have to spend a ton of money on stuff and that's the thing, that, here's my thing, you do not have to spend a lot of money to get a look or whatever. However, if there's a certain thing, and you guys know this about me, you've seen my purse collection, you know, like shoes that I have, like I will buy designer things if that's what I really want. If there's a certain thing that you want, like, I didn't think like, oh, I want a pink bag. Let me go bag shopping. Gotta go to Chanel because I can only get Chanel. Gotta go to Louis Vuitton because I can only get Louis Vuitton. Like, that's not what it is. I literally shop for things that I like. If there's a Chanel bag I like, I get it because it's the Chanel bag. You know what I mean? Um, but if I'm like, hey, I want a pair of furry slides and I don't give a crap about what brand they are. Like, I don't want like the mink ones that are... The, what is it? What brand are they? Givenchy? That really, you know, then I'm gonna find some that are good, that don't look cheesy. Because here's the thing, you guys. You guys can say, oh, well, these are not gone. Whatever. Anything that you buy at Target, anything that you buy at any department store, any store in the mall, I don't care what it is that's not super, super high end in designer, is inspired by something from the runway. It's inspired by something that is in that season. You know, it's something. It's it's always inspired by something. Even designers are inspired by other designers. So all I'm saying is I'm giving you some options from all over the board, and <laughs> that just is what it is. And I have found some of the best things that I like, the same if not more than things that I've spent three, four times as much on. The majority of these shoes are slides, and you know this type of shoe. This is not a trendy thing. It's trendy right now. I feel like right now they're having a moment because everybody's kind of doing it. Look back at years past. Look back when you were in high school, when you were in college. Maybe you're in college and high school right now, but I'm just saying this is something that has always been around. When I was in college, I had tons of like leather slide sandals um, from, where was it that I used to get them from? I forgot, but I had two pairs that I wore all of the time. I had an Adidas pair that I really loved in high school. The Adidas ones were huge, like Nike, you know, you had to have like all this like sporty stuff. This is a classic style of shoe. Now there are rubber ones like this or whatever by brands that are that are making them look fancier, but at the end of the day it is what it is. It's just it's a slide sandal. And here's my thing, and it's it's not like reinventing the wheel, it's a classic thing. Here's my thing. I have I don't think I have funky shaped feet, but I just think my feet look better in and I'm more comfortable in a slide sandal. I just feel like it makes my feet look more, um, f it's just flat, flattering. I don't know, like if you if you have wider feet, I just think it's, I just think it looks nice um, rather than wearing like a really skinny like thong sandal or something, or I don't know. Okay, like in between the toe like thong sandal, but I do have some of those that I really like too. If you watch my last video, I said that I needed to get some black um, sandals and at the time I had already ordered some some of these I already had but for that video I wasn't really wearing like sporty things with the outfits I was thinking well I need something that's like a little more strappy or whatever but then I started thinking I last year really just wore these dang Givenchy slides they are not the best they're I kind of beat them up I mean I don't know if you can really tell but they're okay, they, like they're just kind of like very rounded. I did a video on them and t you know told you guys all about that. They're not the most comfortable things in the world, but after my feet got used to them, they kind of became just, I would throw them on and I liked the way they look. With any outfit, they were just cute. And this year, I'm not so into that. I just wanted some that were that same silhouette that weren't my same Adidas slides that I wear all the time. If you're looking for a great pair, of, these I just think are, you just can't go wrong. They're extra, they're very inexpensive. They're comfortable. They're lightweight. Just the basic black and white striped ones. You can really put them on with anything. And this is the thing. I don't like the Givenchy ones because they say that. I just like the way the letters look. You know what I mean? And it's the same idea with these stripes. It's a contrast. It's kind of just something that adds a little bit of interest, but you know what I mean? This isn't something that I would want to wear every single day because I feel like it's kind of just really sporty, but whatever, I would wear them. But I wanted to have something 
that was a little nicer, you know? So this year, and you guys know I am a Valentino rock stud, like obsessed person. I have a bunch of them in all different styles from tennis shoes to the heels of different kinds to flats and I will do a shoe collection video soon. But when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, meant to be. And they come in pink as well. Now these are so much better than the Givenchy ones because I have wide feet um, and they still, like like the Givenchy ones flopped around on me. So that's crazy. I don't know how anybody wears those. It has like normal width feet. But these are perfection. They just kind of like fit your feet perfectly. They don't flop around too much. And they're rubber, so it's not like, I like the rubber because it makes them lightweight, um, but it has these like gray, dark gray, like gunmetal y hardware, ruthenium, whatever you want to call it, but it's very shiny. And in certain lights, it almost looks like they catch the light, like it's rainbowy. These are just so good. So if you are looking to splurge this year on a pair of pool slides that are rubber, then I take it back. You should splurge on these because I said don't splurge on rubber designer pool slides. You know, well, whatever. On everything else is not like crazy expensive. Okay. Let's move in to these. These. Okay, Miu Miu, last year, was it last year or the year before, had those that looked like bedroom slippers that looked exactly like these. They had the fur, you know, fur everywhere out of the toes, out of the, and they were cute, but I never really, like, wanted them, but I thought, how pretty is that, though? Like, the, I liked the way these big, chunky pearls looked. Well, Jeffrey Campbell, I'm like covering it up, like, let's reveal it. No, Jeffrey Campbell has come out with these. They come in black and pink, and I got the pink just to be a little different. They're more wearable because they're velvety. They don't have that everywhere that looks. They look like those, like, fancy lady, like, you know, like when you watch old movies and the lady has on, like, her little robe, and she's, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, like walking around with her little, like, furry shoes. That's what those look like, like, just little house fancy lady slippers. But these are wearable. They're really comfortable, but they're very flat. Like when you get used to wearing these like rubbery pool slides, they're very comfy and kind of cushy. These are more flat, but they're just so fun. I just really love them. And Jeffrey Campbell stuff is gonna run around the $100 mark. Between like a little, maybe a little less than $100 to everything is like average $100. These things I'm sure you like $100, but two, I think something's like a 130, but I don't think any, no, but the other ones that I have aren't. But um, these are all within the hundred dollar range. And you know what? If you go to Macy's, if you if you go to really anywhere like Nordstrom or Macy's, like any department store, and you're gonna be buying like department store brand shoes, which a lot of you would say, oh, I don't buy designer shoes. But then you go and you spend like between fifty and a hundred, hundred fifty. I mean, that's how much pretty much department store brand shoes are. But you know, whatever. They're not like five hundred dollars. I mean, I know that's crazy. I mean, this, and that's my thing. Like, when I go shoe shopping, I'm not like, let me go to Valentino to shoe shop. Let me go to the designer shoe, shoe section. Shoe, shoe section. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I know this is what I want, like, I'll just go look for it. I don't care what brand it is as long as it looks good. I wish they had these at Target for $12. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but aren't these beautiful? And they have, like, beautiful stones. Um, just really cute. I just really love these. Okay. Like I mentioned, the Givenchy, like, really furry, like, mink sandals. I think they're cute. I just feel like, again, they sometimes look like bedroom shoes if they're different colors, I think, other than black for me. They're very, um, the mink is really pretty. The mink gives them that really soft look. And a ton of brands have done these, and they've done them kind of bad. Like, it looks like fake, like acrylic-y fur, which these are too, I'm sure. But these are the only ones that I've found that look very soft and mink-like. And it's just the right amount of fluff. And these are by Steve Madden. And they are so comfortable, you guys. And on your feet, they still give you that cute little poof of like the, you know, it looks poofy and cute like fur. They're very soft. I just couldn't imagine, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes if you get something that's like not the real thing or not what you want, I don't know. Sometimes you think like, oh, I wish I had that. Like, no, these are like, no, these are so good, you guys. Um, very, very just, oh just want to pet them but these are so cute and you could literally put them on with anything I think these are probably like the most go-to ones out of the whole bunch you guys these are oh my gosh I, I'm saying this with everything these are probably my favorite these are probably my favorite okay so it, it's just it's around this really mushy 
you know, like everything's just comfortable. It's like padded up under there. And these are very Chanel-esque, like the ones that came out. Did they come out last year? I saw them for the first time last year. I think they had little C's in them somewhere. I don't care about, I just, I liked the way that, I don't know. But, you know, obviously I didn't like those enough to like get them or anything. But I liked the look, you know what I mean? I'm not going to go out and like spend that much on everything just on a whim. But if you can get them for a little cheaper, then I love that. But here's my thing, okay? We spend and justify, like a lot of us, if you're into buying designer shoes or like you have a pair of Louboutin or like, any, like, I don't know. What are they mostly? You think they're heels. Do we wear heels every single day? I sure don't, but I have a lot of designer heels and lots of the things that I don't spend as much money on are the things that I wear pretty much every single day. So I don't mind paying a hundred bucks for a pair of shoes that I'm gonna be wearing the heck out of. But these are so nice. They're just really well made. It's um, like a velvety, like suede looking fabric. It's not like real suede or anything, but it's just, is it? I don't know, but anyways, again, Jeffrey Campbell. These are so, so good, you guys. These are so good. And then similar to the pearl ones that I just showed, I have another version, kind of. Jeffrey Campbell also has these. Now these are like, I say, these are like my monster shoes. And when I first got them, I was like, these are going back because they're really huge. They look kind of like wide, like, um, like, what is that show? Oh my gosh, like, like, um, like Sully's feet, you know, like on Monsters Incorporated or like, I don't know, like a, like a, person like in an animal suit like walking and then this these are Jeffrey Campbell again it has the same exact molded rubbery thing though as like these Valentinos these are a little heavier um Valentino ones are a little lightweight but these are so comfortable you guys I'm still kind of unsure about these but you know what I don't really care I'm gonna do something myself I like them so much that what I'm gonna do is I'm going like it doesn't need all of this I'm gonna cut it and just see what happens you think that's weird? Like, you see how that's really... Like, I don't mind it in the middle, but some of it is just a little extra on the side. Like, this, this is what bothers me. It's just like, you know? And then in a video a while back, I showed you guys these. So these come in, like, a beautiful emerald green. These are by Steve Madden. They come in this rosy color, and they come in black. And at the time, they didn't have my size in the black, so I grabbed this, and I'm... No, this is what I was drawn to first, and I was gonna also get the black. I'm glad I didn't, because now I have, like... A, and again, like... When I bought those two pearly ones, I was really just going to buy one, and I thought I'll send one back, but then I got the pink and the black, and I'm like, ah, maybe I could justify both. I don't know, but they're both really <laughs> they're both really good. But this is the thing, like, if you wear a lot of side sandals, and if you do what I do for a living, and you're all about sharing the good stuff, <laughs> then it's totally justified, right? No. Okay, so here we go. These are so good. I, I think I described these as like grandma shoes. Do you remember like when you would go to like CVS or like Walgreens or somewhere? They always had like those orthopedic shoes that were like the red ones, you know, that were like first. These remind me of those, but they're still really cute on your feet and they're very, very soft and comfy. Size up in these, they do run small. But again, another little cutesy little option. Obviously, you know, I wasn't going to show these because. The theme of this video became slide sandals and that was kind of unintentional but it's really just what I've purchased lately because I'm all about buy what you know you'll wear and things that like that you like. You know, don't always follow the trends and say, well, I hate slide sandals so I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of this. You're like, I love them. I live in them in the summer so this is just great for me. Do I need all of the, these? Like, I probably have a good, like, I don't feel like I need both pairs of those pearly ones, but I'm going to make them work because I really like them. I'm saying like if you were just looking to buy some, you don't need to go nuts. Just get like a couple good pairs or whatever, but so good. But anyways, I want to show you guys these. Again, I have worn them since talking about them in my Target haul, and I'm in love with them. And again, I told you guys I am the biggest rock stud fan there is. When I saw these, I was like, yes. When I've seen certain shoes in the past, I'm just like, yes, I have a bunch of pairs of those. So it's not that I don't want to buy them because I think if I really wanted a pair of sandals, I would have bought them already. I cannot tell you how many times Rockstead sandals have been in and out of my car and then I always just don't buy them because I'm like, you know, I, and again, I know myself. I know that thong sandals like this are not always my absolute favorite. So do I want to spend like $1,000 on them because rock studs are freaking expensive? These were not that much. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I think these were around 300. Um, I know, but just, just whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. So here's the thing. 
go to Target, pick you up the, they have them online too, I'll, I'll link to them, they come in different colors online, they do. And then there's also ones that have like different stones, and I think Valentino did some of those too, so I almost got some of those, and I was like, no, this is literally the only pair that I need. And when you look up close, like yeah, the studs are not perfect. I don't care though, like when you're wearing them on your feet, it gives your outfit the same silhouette. That's the difference. Like. If something is like three, five hundred bucks, like I don't know, maybe. But if something is like a thousand dollars and it's not your, it's something that you really like and you want that look, but it's like, am I gonna be wearing this every day? Are these gonna be shoes that I just grab for? Probably not. But look, I mean, these are just so great, you guys. And I felt like amazing when I was wearing them. I just really loved them. They looked so cute. And then again, like some of my other favorite brands are Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman makes some of the best like strappy sandals and I brought a new pair, new-ish pair. You guys have seen these before. I think I showed them in a um, recent haul, was it? And I think I showed them in my, was it a haul or was did I just show them in my, I don't know if I showed you guys when I actually got these, but I did show them in my lookbook. I wore them with some looks, but I just love their actual sandals like this, like that are kind of strappy. These tight, the ankle, they're kind of that like gladiator-ish look, but they're not so over the top. They come just right to your ankles. So they're not super trendy. They just look really classic and pretty. And I just love that little simple crisscross and then they tie, but they're not super fussy. And then the soles of Sam Edelman's shoes are really squishy. These are kind of like if you have the Gigi sandals, which have like just really long up the middle. That's what these feel like. So Sam Edelman is a great, great brand and my shoes really last a long time. My Sam Edelman's that I've had for years are really great. Do you remember those wedges that I had? Those actually, I wore the heck out of those to the point where like the glue started and they just got really like ratty. But Sam Edelman's shoes are really, really good. So here's the thing you guys. Don't be afraid of the slide trend. It's not really a trend. Look back for years, like yes, like the, the these I would say are a trend. This actual pair last year, everybody had them. It was kind of a thing. But the actual silhouette of a slide sandal is pretty classic and I love that brands are kind of going with it and making a whole bunch of really nice ones that look pretty and all different options like that because that's what I like. I go for slides rather than flip flops and what's hilarious is for years I was all about flip flops and I would always get some for Brad every year like when we would go to the beach or whatever. Brad and I have been together for like gosh, 13 years, and like I remember when we first got together, I would try to give him like, you know, I would get buy a pair of flip-flops for him, and he would wear them, but he's just not like a flip-flop guy. He would always say, I really just want some that go straight across. I'm like, why? I don't understand that. And he's like, it just hurts my toes. I just don't like them. And so, yeah, I, I eventually started buying them, him ones that go across, and that's what he likes to wear too in the summer. So it's just funny, I don't know. But yeah, side sandals are actually not they're, they're nothing crazy. I mean, it's something that I don't think is going to go anywhere because, like I said, any year you can find side sand. Like, any year for the last tens of whatever years, brands have always had side sandals. But I love that they're fancying them up and making them a little more fun for us. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you saw something that you liked because I just... I'm just so excited. I feel like some of these are like the finds of life. Like they're so good. Which ones am I gonna wear today? We're going to um, we're going to a little cookout. Would these be too much? Probably not. I'm gonna wear them. All right, you guys. So I love you so much. I'll see you later. Um, and I hope this was helpful. Bye, guys.